We have this soft additive landing when moving. And it works even when we are strafe walking. But if we climb up and we start falling from a higher distance, we have this hard landing, this root motion is stopping us. Okay, so now we also need landed. If we don't have landing, this transitions really badly. Uh, so let's do landing. Do we have land? Yeah, we got land. So we got uh, two good, really cool uh, jump idle land. It looks like this. And we got hard landing. Jump idle land hard, this one. This one is like this. I mean, he's just wiggling a bit but uh, yeah in general it looks pretty good so what i've created is just copied those two uh, animations and added additive to them so if you open this one it's just additive and it's saying local space selected animation uh, frame and the first frame of additive is just idle and i'm going to do the same for this uh, hard landing additive so let's do um well just like here so local space let's say local space selected animation frame idle uh, idle in place this one frame zero okay and now I uh, we can just delete this one and we're going to just select those two additives and create an montage with those additives. Save everything and we've got those two montages. They're just in default slot, we don't have other slots. This is how it would look like in APOS. This hard landing. Uh, so yeah, now to use it, we go into character, not anim graph. Because we don't want to do another blend when you enter this transition from here to here. We got character for that. So we can do landed and we have event on landed and we just play montage like we did in all previous examples. And we push our mesh into mesh and now we hit here land and let's say jumping land additive, compile save. Oh, we can also open those two and we can uh, decrease the blend in to 0.15 here as well, 0.15 it will look a lot better if it's smaller and we're not changing anything here we're just hitting play and now if we jump and land oh, it's not triggering because we're not using uh, montages on our anim graph so before aim offset we need to say default slot and if we had more slots, we would see them here. Now we connect it. And uh, if we hit play, there is one more error that I know about that we have to fix. So if we jump now, we have this landing, but we also have this stop animation as well. So this is because uh, when we hit this animation, it's not refreshing this pose due to performance reasons, but we actually want to always refresh pose before this node. So this stop, uh, triggers before landing okay so now it looks like this and if we add foot IK it will look even better because right now fit sometimes is in air a bit but that's an easy fix with IK and yeah, this is just how the animations for landing was recorded. The character is squatting, but he's not moving the center of body low enough, fast enough. And if we use the second landing, the hard landing, I think it might look even better. 
So hard additive, let's hit play. <laughs> okay, no, not while running, but in place it might look even better. Mm. So what we can also do, we can uh, select and play different montage based on some value. For example, we can get velocity of our actor and we can split and say that if Z velocity is above um, certain threshold, uh, actually absolute velocity when we are landing, is above a threshold of let's say 700 or let's say for now 100 we want to play a different montage so let's just make this and let's leave this landing that we had here for false and for our hard landing let's create a montage that is not in place actually but root motion and let's make this hard landing oh where is the no don't tell me that this is only in place <gasps> it's only in place land hard yeah it's only in place Ooh. okay so let's make a montage out of it, create any montage, just leave it as it was. And let's change this in place animation into root motion animation, because why not? We can, and we can use it as root motion. And this is what I was aiming for anyway. And we don't have to change anything here, maybe dot 15 for the linear blend. And we push it here as root motion uh, montage. Okay, compile play, and now if we play, we play this, I can't move until it blends out. So this is the hard montage, not as additive, it's just uh, playing as an animation. It's like a lot of knees shaking in it, it's not bad. Okay, so we want to do this uh, threshold in a, some reasonable way. So let's do print string and let's just print it out and see where it gets us. So if I jump and land, it's 436. If I jump and fall from here, it's 578. Running, three, four, 430. Okay, but if I fall from higher up, like here, it's 1041. Okay, so let's make the threshold on um, 900, for example. So if the velocity on Z is uh, above 900, uh, we want to play this hard landing. So now, if we hit play, we have this soft additive landing when moving. And it works even when we are strafe walking. But if we climb up and we start falling from a higher distance, we have this hard landing that is root motion is stopping us. 